At six, an interstate chase ended in Pasco County with a state trooper hurt and one man dead. We went straight out to ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell. She is live for us with the very latest. Good evening to you, Mary. Hey, good evening. Well, an FHP trooper is recovering after being shot, and that's after a chase that spent, spanned a section of I-75 ended right here near Wesley Chapel. FHP says around 3.15 this morning, a trooper on patrol along I-75 came upon two pickups with two men near the northbound 275 marker. FHP says the men appeared to be trying to steal the second truck or items in that car, and then they took off heading north with the trooper right behind them. During the chase, FHP says the men fired a gun several times from their car, hitting a tanker truck. Once they got to State Road 50, the men changed course and went south on I-75, getting off at Overpass Road, where FHP says a trooper was able to stop that chase. The agency said that's when the two men ran towards a wooded area and one man surrendered to a trooper while the other man had a gun. FHP says shots were fired between the second trooper and the suspect. The trooper was hit in the torso while the suspect was hit and had deadly injuries. Charges against that second suspect are pending. Now the trooper was airlifted to a hospital where he was listed in stable condition. And I spoke to FHP earlier this afternoon. They told me that uh, FHP trooper is continuing to recover from his injuries. We're live in Pasco County. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. Mary.